Hey guys, what's up? It's Nuclear Videos HD, and I'm here with the Christmas Update 2015 for The Simpsons Tapped Out. Last time we left off in Part 1, we were going through and checking out all the buildings and the decorations. Now we will go through and check out the characters and the quest lines associated with Act 1 of the update. Um, so yeah, so here's all the um, buildings and decorations from the uh, previous video. If you guys want to check that out, make sure you guys check it out. And uh, now I guess I'll go through all the quest lines and check out what's going on. So the decorations, inflation part four, tap ten merrymakers to collect event currency. So I gotta find all these crazy people walking around. Um, <laughs> little kid. Um, let's see what else we got. Where are these guys? There's one right there. There's one right there. There's one. These guys look so creepy. Um... Anybody else? There's one. Hmm. Anybody else? And, uh, yeah, for a lot of you guys wondering when my town's gonna be done, um, ooh, that guy looks extra creepy. For, uh, for those of you guys who are wondering for when my town will be finished, um, I am kind of putting it off a little bit, um, but not really, I mean, I'm getting a little bit of it done here and there. Springfield Heights, I had completed, but it screwed me up a little bit with the um, expansion update for that. So I'm hopefully trying to fix that up a little bit and, uh, you know, try and get everything over there straightened up before I go back to my Springfield. But uh, it's coming slowly but surely. It's like every single time I try to place buildings down, I'm afraid, like, oh man, like, I don't want to place this down. And then it winds up, like you know, something for that building comes out, and then I'm, like, kind of screwed, you know, like, if something big for the Springfield Park comes, you know, I'll be kind of screwed, because I've already put everything down, you know, or an expansion for the Sir Puddleots, you know, let's say, but anyway, um, I decided, you know, screw it, I'm just gonna go straight through and try and finish this as soon as possible for you guys, I know it's kind of hard to check out my videos when, you know, everything's just a big old mess, but anyway, so back to the videos, um, Let's check out. I've got the best decoration idea yet. What's more Christmassy than a snowman? How about a giant snowman? You're right. Anything supersize is better. Let's do that. Dad, building a giant snowman is a much greater architectural challenge than it might seem. How hard could it be? I find the biggest care in the world for a nose and the rest is downhill. Winter 2015 event. Oh, wow. I said that weird. Winter 2015 event guide, tap merrymakers, and send characters on jobs to upgrade your attractions and collect festive hats. Accumulate currency to unlock amazing prizes. Make your Springfield merry for great prizes. Event ends in 24 days, 8 hours, 9 minutes, 47, 46, 45 seconds. So, we don't have that long for this update. It's scheduled to end pretty much at the beginning of the year. So, uh, so we can... Keep on upgrading this um, snowman. Build the biggest snowman ever. So it's free. Just plop that down wherever you know, wherever you like. I'll put it with the rest of this stuff. So, oh lord, what am I to do? Christmas is supposed to be my busy season, but it's turning out to be a downright right-handed affair. I guess that star that shone bright in the east was on the right side of the compass too. I need a left-handed solution to my business woes. PDQ, pretty diddly quick. Why don't you just open a hot dog stand? Everyone loves hot dogs. You're right, Homer. And by right, I mean you're as good as being left. Shut up, stupid Flanders. You're confusing me. Place the Leftorium Express. I just had to downsize instead of a big old Leftorium. What better way than a mobile stall? Allow me to introduce the Leftorium Express. With this, I not only cut rental costs, but I get to bump my backside with my new business partner, Nasreen. <laughs> As a thank you to Homer, I'm also selling left-handed hot dogs. So, that doesn't do anything. But, we'll go back and check out our giant snowman. So we can make pile, make Homer pile snow. Let's see what he's got to do. Cool. So I'm just going to take a screen grab of that. Whoa! So, Homer, all I see is a pile of snow and no man. Just wait till it sticks on, till it stick, wait till its stick arms are stuck and its coal eyes are popped. 
Well, right now your snowman looks like a much bigger snowman took a crap. I have chosen different words, but I agree with Bart. Your volunteers don't seem to know what they're doing. One group seems to be undoing all the work of the other, and there is a third group that's just eating snow. Best snowman ever is now level one, and you've earned a 480 snowman hats. So let's upgrade this to level two. Great. Cool. Oh, I could have just upgraded to the next level that way. So now we have upgraded a bit more. Dad, I don't think your snowman is turning out the way you planned. Plan? There's no plan, honey. That's my brilliant plan. Plus, I'm crowdsourcing all the hard work, which is a nice word for taking advantage of people. And in the end, if it doesn't work out, I can just walk away as if it never happened. Thank you, crowdsourcing. So, I'm going to take another screen grab of that. And we can upgrade now again. Ooh. Best snowman ever is now level 3. See, Lisa, there's nothing to worry about. I don't know, it's constructural integrity concerns me. And I'm pretty sure I've seen at least one kid wedged in the foundation. Actually, there's four. Kids make good cornerstones. So I'm going to take another screen grab of that. Level four. Ooh, wow, it's shaping up to be pretty good. Best snowman ever is now level four. Dad, I'm going to ask you to hang up your snow shovel before the sh whole snowman structure collapses and buries us all. It's only happened twice and everyone's still here. Maybe I should take a head count. Anyway, don't worry. I rounded up some eggheads and threatened them into helping us finish. Well, I don't approve of bullying, but it's comforting knowing eggheads are on the job. So, upgrade the best snowman ever to level 5. Ooh. Whoops. Nice. So, I got some bonus gift. Oh man, I forgot to grab a screenshot of that. Anyway, you've, you've completed the best snowman ever. It will now earn you event currency you also earned. I think we've done it, Dad. It's exactly like my dream, except for the base, the body, and the hot part that was supposed to look like Frankenstein. My dream was actually a nightmare. It really is the best snowman ever. And thanks to my advanced cyro technology, it won't even melt in the summer. Though it may eventually come to, wipe, to life and wipe out all of Earth. Oh, I didn't even need to take uh, screenshots because now we can just um, switch between. So now we can have the best snowman ever, a pile of snow, a large heap of snow, scaffolding snow, and man-shaped snow. Now we have our big old snowman. So this, uh, I guess it's not really building, but it earns uh, 32 of our little hats every 8 hours. Spreading winter cheer is its task. And the sound, which is, kind of just sounds like somebody packing snow. But anyway, make Homer admire his creation. So, let's see. Okay. Homer's snowman is giving me the holiday get up and go man. That packed pile of fluffy stuff makes his netty ready to bake in some similar sized gingerbready. Saying all that took the wind out of my sails. So, okay, so now we are going to build a gingerbread house. Very nice. We'll place that over here. Hmm. Right here, why not? Now, what can I ding dong diddly do for you? So, we're going to make Ned think big. Oh, wait, no, I don't think we need to do that. Where did I put that? Here. Oh, wait, maybe we did. So, Ned's going to think big. And the building task for this is a little birdie comes out and starts eating some of the house. How cute. It's a little cardinal or whatever you call those things. Build the gingerbread mansion. People are helping out in droves, bringing ginger loaves for our giant gingerbread house. Just to be truthful, giant means humble and unassuming. After all, honesty and modesty are the Christian way, except when we're skirting building codes for the church. So we will now upgrade it to size number two. Very nice. Gingerbread Mansion is now level two. Slight change of plans, people. I've thrown out the old set of blueprints and crafted a new set all in red. 
Cause Ned Flanders does not work blue. So we'll upgrade this again to level 3. Starting to take pretty good shape. A gingerbread house built in God's glory. I'll bet he'd want a few more sugary shrines, a couple Turkish taffy turrets, and a fiddle-faddle foyer. Let's get that eternal icing fountain flowing in his namesake. Amen. So we're now upgrading to level 4. Another bonus gift. Nice. So... Bring in more icing to support the upper floors. Ginger, snap, snap. I want that gumdrop driveway gone. Dad, gum, good. Don't make me break out the licorice whips. Daddy sniffed too many chocolate chips. Don't harsh this marshmallow, little dude. It's working fine for me. So, Flanders is high on his building, I guess. My head is finally clearing now that I'm getting a little non-confected air. I get more carried away than a cross on the road to chivalry. Our germane gingerbread house turned out to be Tobbled Toblerone Tower of Babel. Ned, I don't think you went that far. You weren't there when I added the fold-out fudge rooftop root beer tennis court. Okay, another three donuts. Damn, I'm getting a lot of these bonus prizes. So, this sound is kind of glitched out for me. It starts off kind of loud, but then kind of just echoes off. But anyway, the building sound... Oh, there it is. The building sound is some... Um, I don't know how to call it. Just like a little Christmassy jingle. Running tennis tournaments is the building sound... I'm sorry, it's the building task. And uh, you can upgrade it through. So we have Humble Gingerbread House, Gingerbread House, Excessive Gingerbread House, Gingerbread Manor, and finally, our gingerbread mansion, which I think is pretty cool. So let's check out what else we've got. Santa's little helper has something. Make the Simpsons what? visit the animal shelter. What? So what the? Homer's going to go and visit the animal shelter. Building animation for this is some birds fly in and out of the windows, and uh, the flag Woo! begins to twirl. What else we got to do for this? Oh. What? We gotta make other Simpsons visit. Visit, visit, visit. Okay. This is a pretty neat building. I, I think it's pretty nice. This place is great. So many poor animals with such big eyes and sweet, cuddly, needy. You're not getting another pet, Lisa. This would have been a perfect place for Stampy to hang out and I could come visit him. There is an ordinance that prevents elephants in Springfield City facilities. No heavy petting. Okay, so not really too much on that. We got Ned, who's going to pray his sins away to finish off that gingerbread castle. Whoa. Oh my god. Okay, so the building animation for this is the roof opens up, and there's a tennis court up top, and these two gingerbread men who are not moving whatsoever are playing tennis with what looks like a little malt ball. Way to go, you've finished the main quest line. Keep tapping Merrymakers to unlock more prizes, complete weekly challenges, and play naughty or nice to craft more items. Ooh, nice. Let's check out what else we got. So we got some festive hats, blah, blah, blah. Make Ralph register as an orphan. So for some reason, we'll send Ralph to do that. Oops, no. Ralph, go and register as an orphan. So I guess that was it for the main quest line. There wasn't really too much. Springfield Orphanage, uh, its building animation is the lights and the smoke. Is my son Ralph in this orphanage? Here I am, I'm a mighty morphin power orphan. Ralph, an orphan is someone who doesn't have a mommy or a daddy or a bedroom or a bathroom. I go potty in the closet. Just get your stuff and let's go home, Ralph. Come on, Ralphie. So there wasn't much with that little quest line. Let's see, we'll make Homer buy fancy underwear. Okay. Victoria's, uh, sorry, Victor's Secret building task. Sorry, the building animation is, uh, there's a girl in there looking at underwear. She doesn't look very impressed. Uh, oh, Marge, I got you an extra holiday gift. Oh my, homie, are you wearing underwear on my knitting yarn? 
I got them on, but now I can't get them off, Marge. I'm very scared. Don't move a muscle. I'm getting your power tools. I'll cut, chop, bore, and torch them off if I have to. Make Marge employ various power tools. Okay. Nice. So, Homer. So, the tacky festive Simpsons house is now a permanent uh, facade for the Simpsons house. And the tasteful festive Flanders house is now a permanent facade for Flanders house. Um, so, we also have to purchase the Mr. Burns White Witch. Um, we also have to play through the Two Orphans quest line. So I guess I'll save that for part three. Um, again, if you guys wanted to check out the complete buildings and decorations video, check out part one. I go a little bit more in depth on a lot of these buildings, including the Duff Center Arena and, you know, all these little stores and buildings and whatnot. And uh, as well as the uh, the decorations as well, I go into more in depth with those as well. And uh, stay tuned for part three if you guys want to check out the quest line revolving around the two orphans and the white witch burns. So until then, peace. That's pretty much it. Thanks for watching and subscribe. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, leave them down in the comments section below. Also be sure to check out some of my other pages, including Instagram, Facebook, Google+, and Twitter, whose links will all be located in the description below. Also feel free to email me at nuclearvideoshd at gmail.com. Keep on tapping and peace out.